part two of the sex tape. <laughs> ah, I'm kidding. Joking. We're done. Democrats get tense when Fetterman starts making sense. Yep, there's activity in his brain, and it's causing Democrats pain. Senator and former Adams family butler, John <laughs> Fetterman, is causing a rift within his party, breaking from the left, most notably with his outspoken support of Israel. He went from being unable to speak to too smart for Harvard. The hooded hero has also become a fierce critic of runaway immigration, calling for a solution to the endless border crossings. It's almost as if someone had loosened the bolts in his neck to increase the blood flow to his brain. <laughs> But even if a guy who actually suffered brain damage knows what the word illegal means, and so his politics of late have him leaning farther right. And Fetterman is embracing the divergence, telling NBC, quote, I'm not a progressive. I just think I'm a Democrat that's very committed to choice and other things. But with Israel, I'm going to be on the right side of that. And immigration is something near and dear to me. And I think we do have to effectively address it as well. He also called out fellow Democrat Bob Menendez for being allowed to remain in office despite a massive corruption scandal. A Democrat calling out corruption, you say? That's like Mr. Olympia calling out steroids. <laughs> Little bodybuilding humor. I got it. Thank you, Matt. Hey, what's the problem with steroids? <laughs> Matt, Matt thinks to himself. But it's true. Fetterman's proven to have much more of a brain than we gave him credit for. Perhaps he has an extra one in his tail. <laughs> But it's weird. I mean, as he regained his brain function, he also became remarkably non-liberal. It's what I've been saying for years. The more you use your brain, the less liberal you become. No surprise, as we've seen what happens to intelligence when you cut off the oxygen supply to the brain. <laughs> you know, it means we owe John an apology, or to put it another way. We're so sorry. John Fetterman We've made fun of you for months We feel ashamed We're so sorry John Fetterman But we've seen the light And so tonight we want to praise your name Jack, could you have predicted that John Fetterman would be the voice of reason, or is the bar just really low in the Democrats right now? I am shocked that I'm about to say anything positive about John Fetterman. <laughs> yeah. I'm shocked. I can't believe it. He, he's like that one friend that surprises you. Yeah. Like, he's like that stupid, dumb friend, yeah. and then you find out that he knows how to play classical piano, and you're yeah. like, what? <laughs> They're like, I wasn't expecting this. And then he's like, yeah, my parents made me play when I was a kid, but I never really liked it. Anyways, help me strap this firecracker to this gopher. <laughs> you know? You're like, huh? It's so true. Everybody has that friend. And if you don't, then you are that friend. <laughs> Matt, uh, he sounds like you when it comes to immigration. Do you think this is going to hurt him? Well, you know, I don't believe people when they say I look anything like him. I don't know where they... <laughs> I don't know where they see that. <laughs> Especially if I was to wear a black hoodie, that would look nothing like him. <laughs> uh, you know, th this is actually, the, as he, you know, recovers from his stroke, I think what's happening is he realizes he's representing the people of Pennsylvania. Mm. And so he's interacting with actually these working class Americans that don't like woke ideology. They don't like the, east, the coastal elites and their policies. And so he's trying to represent them and probably, like most politicians, save his skin for the next election. But, you know, at the end of the day, it's, it's hard to look past. And even someone that, you know, suffered as severely as he did, it's, you know, he can't look past this chaos at our southern border. These videos that are out today are just outrageous with the people piling up mm -hmm. uh, and being allowed in. And so, you know, it, it makes sense. Mm -hmm. But again, I think it's a, you know, if, if he can make calculations, it's a political calculation to actually represent the people he represents. Mm, interesting, Kat. Do you think the stroke might have changed him? The way, like, when Spider-Man was bitten by a spider? <laughs> That's how it happened, I think. I didn't, do, I didn't take Spider-Man history. <laughs> well. A red, white, and blue spider. <laughs> yeah, yeah. As a neurologist. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 
What, why would you ask me that question? I don't know. <laughs> Anything can happen, especially, I just watched you apologize to somebody. <laughs> I've been doing that a lot. I, yeah, I know. Um, <laughs> it's it's kind of weird. Um, I think it's always a good thing when somebody can actually break from what others in their party are saying because that's how s stupid ideas take hold, right? Mm -hmm. It's because people aren't really thinking anymore. Yeah. They're just like, oh, this is what everyone else is saying, and rather than actually think, I'll just go with that because these are the people on my team. But that's how all this stupid stuff keeps happening because people aren't thinking. Mm -hmm. But I think it's really, really refreshing. This guy's thinking. Yeah. He's thinking for himself. He's willing to have his own opinion. And I think that's something to be celebrated. I agree completely. And I like being wrong because it means it's surprising and it's fun to like, oh, maybe I was too hard on that guy. In the green room, uh, Charlie, you said, I wish more Democrats would have strokes. <laughs> <laughs> and I thought that was just... I was True. shocked. It's true. Bro. I was shocked, but that's, that's you know exactly, that's your opinion. That's exactly what I said, and I'm going to defend it now. Yeah. <laughs> the um, no, this is the problem. Oh, by the way, uh, that's so true. There's like a whole breed of people who love to be wrong because mm. they like to be surprised. Yes, it's more interesting, and 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 good people who get into newspapering are people who like to be surprised because they're always curious mm -hmm. and they make good uh, reporters. The problem is when they get like uh, brainwashed and they become stupid and then they don't, they look for confirmation as opposed to what do I not know here? It's, it's exactly the opposite of confirmation bias. Yes, exactly. It's like, dude, I want to be You're, proven wrong. Yeah. You know, yeah. I, I love be being right. <laughs> But but, th but this is this whole thing is it, uh, is kind of it, it underscores what's so difficult about comedy and news in DC today because like six months ago the Babylon Bee did a joke headline about this mm -hmm. exact same thing and then it starts happening for real like all of the joke headlines wind up actually coming to fruition kind of like all conspiracies uh, come to fruition but I also love the fact that he's like rejecting the term progressive which I don't really know what that means mm -hmm. but Democrats ruin every word they ever, that's why they keep having to go to the next word they ruin the word Democrat they ruin the word liberal and so then now they're on progressive and they're ruining that word but the truth is, he's actually like a true liberal. Mm -hmm. He believes in he believes you shouldn't throw gays off of rooftops. Mm -hmm. He believes that you shouldn't like hate <laughs> hate Jews. Yeah. You shouldn't, you know, he's just like normal yeah. and is like looking, thinking critically about things. And you know, we need more of that. Yeah. I wish we could debate those last two topics. <laughs> but we don't have time. All right, up next, men don't feel sparks if women quote Karl Marx. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.